Hello and welcome to Night David Samalata. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a plug and play for the Rode microphone test and for the Moeno. We're going to be doing a little bit of that. Um, the idea is actually to show you how to plug and play uh, test this type of feature. Currently, we're not using any software. We're just basically plugged in and we're, we're playing the sound. So it is what it is. So anyways, guys, enjoy the video. All right, so I think this is actually going to be a much better comparison here. Um, we do have the speakers kind of like up close. And of course I have my wireless system too. I'm not really sure if there's uh, any interference. One thing I will mention is with this road set up right now, with the way I have things set up, uh, we're actually not peaking. Everything's actually uh, pretty good. We could probably even tone it down just a little bit to keep it in the center. But one thing's for sure, um, I had to turn the bass uh, speaker down, way down, and then I just turned the speakers up. So instead of turning out the turning up the gain, I turn up the speakers up uh, instead. So what I want to do now is uh, hook up a Moeno type of a microphone, and I do want to see what's it gonna sound like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use um, we're gonna use a Rode XLR cable and keeping everything uh, like it is right now, the way it's adjusted. So. Actually, like when I'm speaking over here, I'm pretty sure I could hear myself out of the speakers, but I think for voiceovers, you wanna actually get it, get down kind of like over here and, and speak. So here's the XLR cable for the for this other one. And we're gonna go ahead and actually plug it in. This is a nice long cable. Um, and I also actually bought one more cable that's even longer. So I actually have quite a few XLR cables. So it's a pretty nice cable, um, I will mention. A very nice feel to it, but both of these cables are nice. So we're gonna unplug the road. So, so we, we have this one plugged up now. Um, I could tell that it's, this is, it does pick it up from the top over here. But uh, mostly you could do it from the from the bottom. So, from what I could say, um, basically, what I could tell is right now, it sounds really good to me. I'd say it really sounds good. I think uh, inside of the actual software, this is when um, you're gonna have to make that decision. Really, see which one you like better. But when I'm actually not speaking, I don't hear any hiss. It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty low, uh, if it is. So, one thing's for sure is I'm gonna speak like really close to it right now. I'm gonna do the same thing with the road. And I'm not actually uh, not actually uh, touching the actual um, sound. I'm keeping everything the same. But I think um, the proper distance would be uh, about this distance right here. This is actually the distance that I'm speaking on the road uh, because I'm actually using a pop filter right now. So that's about the distance. So at this distance, it is not that loud. It gets a lot more louder if you're, if you're right on, on the pop filter. So this means I'm gonna have to really, I'm gonna have to really uh, get the road pop filter way uh, against the road. That way I could be speaking like right over here. So actually, let's go ahead and actually uh, unplug it and try to speak again. I don't know why there's interference once I lay it down. I'm not really sure why there's interference when I actually uh, lay it down like that, but um, here's what I could tell. Uh, I do like, I do like the way the road sounds, but I don't like this, uh, this, this kind of like a sound that's in there. So I possibly could actually tune it down a little bit over here. Now, now I'm actually not getting it. So I think each microphone, you just gonna have to uh, learn what's gonna be the best way for you to actually uh, talk. But I think for voiceovers, uh, this is actually perfect that I'm sitting right on it like this. Um, I think it, it's also gonna pick it up uh, at this uh, length as well, uh, but in the software. So in the speakers, I have to be like really up on it. Let me see if I can actually adjust the volume. So this, um, this sound right now, the, the reason it's actually starting to really get this this type of a sound is because my bows is turned really way up there. I'm really not sure um, how much, but it's really up there. 
So getting the pop filter out of it and just speak like this, uh, I could definitely tell that uh, you know it's, it's still pretty loud. And so I'm trying to find out like oh, what kind of sounds can be making like this pop sounds. It seems like it's still pretty good. Um, not really seeing uh, much of a difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll plug it and try the Moano. Okay, here's the here's the Moeno one. Um, so basically, depending on where I'm speaking into, uh, it seems like it actually catches up pretty good. Like uh, at the very top here, it okay. Looks like it does not like being near bowls. That's just why actually it's only like that next to the speakers. So I'm trying to be a little bit further away. <clears throat> so I can tell one one thing for sure. Uh, for this microphone, it's the same thing for this one. You could speak to this microphone from both sides, this one here, and then, actually no, uh, no, 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 look, uh, seems like where, where, the, where the brand name is, it's a little bit better sound. So right over here, like when the microphone's up on it with the brand name, you could see that the sound is coming in a lot more clear. And from what I could tell, this is actually a really amazing sound. Um, I also think that it could be, you know, finely tuned in the, you know, post-production. But I'm actually quite amazed for $50 that you actually get this kind of sound. Really, really, really amazing to me. So it makes me want to, you know, plug in again, Rode and test it because I'm actually really, really liking this microphone. And I think with the Rode, I'm going to have to sit back a little bit more, probably prevent a lot of the interference. Uh, same thing for the bows though, I mean uh, for the road, there's a little gold type of um, area on the microphone, I don't know if you could see that, it is right there, and that's the area where you need to be speaking, well, we're going to actually test it and see if that's true or not, by actually uh, trying to speak from both sides. Okay, that was a little bit, uh, that was a little bit too close. I don't know why, okay, it looks like I, uh, okay, I see what's going on. When I was actually plugging it in, uh, I actually disturbed the sound. So right now I'm actually speaking to the back of the microphone as a test to see what it's gonna be if I'm gonna be speaking towards the front. So I just listed it towards the front and you could definitely tell the difference. Um, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, you gotta be speaking on the side where the gold uh, gold indicator is. So if you're speaking a little bit to the to the side like this, as you can tell, it's really not catching the voice good. But when you get it uh, around, let me actually get this get this down. Yeah. So speaking over here on this side, I definitely could tell this is actually like really good quality sound coming through, and I think I'm gonna be able to tell even more. Uh, with a monitoring, uh, monitoring, monitoring, monitoring type of uh, setup with a headset. So I'm gonna try to uh, put a headset on and try to test it out this way. But I could tell this is a very clear sound. You just want to make sure you stay your um, basically as far as you could be from any kind of speakers uh, to prevent the interference. I would even say even push the device where you plug everything into for the back. Um, I could tell that I'm peaking right now. At times it kind of goes to red. So I'm gonna actually tone it down a little bit on the gains. But I could tell this is this is pretty good uh, for sure. So I have adjusted uh, the microphone to be sitting kind of like um, with a pop filter being pretty much like on it like this. Uh, and I definitely could tell uh, the sound is coming through. Uh, it is actually very clear, at least to me. I'm not really sure how my headset is picking up because my microphone is actually on my body. So possibly it's actually picking it up. I guess we'll see it in, uh, in the actual test. Uh, at this point, uh, I'm not going to actually um, create any official recordings uh, of the actual sounds because um, this is more of a, just testing a few microphones just like this. Uh, and just showing you guys how to uh, actually set up this 
uh, focus right uh, type of system um, and basically we actually need to do a little bit more to it but you could tell this is pretty much plug and play we haven't actually installed any of the software uh, just yet so it's just plug and play uh, running currently so um, I will be doing however the individual test uh, from the actual software side I will record both of these microphones each individually uh, to its own and then uh, we're gonna actually do the comparison test uh, between each of the microphones so uh, and actually record those that way you could actually compare it to the actual record quality instead of the microphone picking up the sound and you have to go by ear and actually tell if you actually like it or not so we'll actually use uh, video editing software to actually catch that so um, I could tell speaking right over here uh, we're not gonna get really picked up that good uh, I could tell definitely my voice is being picked up but right around here I could tell it blinks a little bit less often but a little bit up closer like this it's blink it's blinking a lot more but definitely I could tell this Rode NT1A uh, it is just really 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 clear type of sound I could definitely tell that much so I'm gonna do the final um, sound test uh, with the Moeno. So basically right over here um, I'm going to be speaking on a pop filter at about similar type of distance uh, that I have uh, with the road. Again, I think the sound is actually coming in very clear, very clear. Uh, I think it has a little bit less bass, but it is coming in very clearly. I guess you be the judge guys, but this is really clear sound. sound. I could actually live with this. Um, I've heard some voiceovers that was actually not as good as this. It's definitely very surprising to me how well of a quality you could get with a $50 microphone, you know. So anyways, guys, um, let's go ahead and actually work on a software side. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this plug and play. Um, I'm going to uh, create a full video on how to actually set up the software side for that unit a little bit separately and uh, a little bit less tests. This is more like a plug and play type of test. You know, so take a look at that video. Uh, chances are, if I have it up, it's going to be uh, a link in the description below. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit a like on this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.